My name is Lieutenant Linda Wakelin. I'm the Executive Director of the Salvation Army's Grace Haven and Gemma House. Both programs operate by referral in partnership with the Ministry of Social Services. Grace Haven offers a supportive living environment for teen mothers, while Gemma House is a safe home for teen girls aged 12 to 15. Hi, I'm Major Doug Binner. I'm the Executive Director of Haven of Hope Ministries here in downtown Regina. We strive to be a transforming influence in this community and we offer our clients feeding programs, uh, self-help programs, counseling programs, and we're striving to make a difference in people's lives. And uh, through our programs, we believe that that's happening here in downtown Regina. I'm Captain Robert Zesford, the Executive Director of the Salvation Army Watterson Center. We have a 32-bed emergency shelter, a casual labor office that connects day workers with potential employers, 55 rooms for long-term supportive living, and 40 bachelor suite apartments. The men that live here range in age from teens to their late 80s and most require the supports offered in our facility in order to maintain stability in their lives. Our services include medication supervision, meals, housekeeping, spiritual care, guidance and personal care, and help with keeping appointments and things like that. This centre is home to over 100 men, young and old, and our staff make every effort to keep it home-like for them. My name is Ivy Scoby and I'm the Executive Director of the William Booth Special Care Home and the Regina Wascana Grace Hospice. We are owned and operated by the Salvation Army and an affiliate of the Regina Capel Health Region. We offer five different programs to the citizens of our community. We offer long-term care, convalescent care, respite care, adult day program, and of course our hospice which provides end-of-life palliative care. We feel that we're very fortunate that we're able to provide these valuable services to our community and our, we find our work is very rewarding knowing that we can make a difference in those we serve.